Hi everyone! So the video I have to show you today is a haul video and it's mostly going to be filled with items from um, last weekend when I went to the California gift show at the convention center in Los Angeles. I go twice a year. They have an event um, that is kind of um, it's simultaneous to one that they do at the LA Mart, so they're linked now. It's basically um, showing like trends that are being forecasted for the next six months until the next show. Um, they have one place called Kensha Hall that has all the cash and carry for jewelry. Um, unfortunately, it's not open to the public, so that's kind of why I don't broadcast that I'm going beforehand so other people can, can go too because you do have to have a reseller's license. And I'm fortunate enough that the company that I work for does have one, so they allow me to go every six months. So in addition to all the stuff that I looked into for the business side, I also found quite a few things for myself. Um, yeah, a little bit too much probably, but um, you guys know me, I like to shop and I love sparkly things, so pretty much like almost everything I got is sparkly. But I guess I'll just hop right into it. And then I also have some items from um, Target and Marshalls that I'm just gonna throw in, make one big video. I'll just start with like what's right in front of me. I found these pretty cute little hair pins that are on Grain ribbon. They just have little kind of cheapy crystals. They were only $2, so picked up a couple of them in navy, black, and white. And I've already worn the white one, and unfortunately a couple of the crystals already fell off. So yeah, they're not the best quality ever, but you know, they were $2, so I really wasn't expecting great quality. Um, I got this bracelet, which I think is pretty fabulous, and obviously very glitzy. I got this hair clip, which is actually really heavy duty. I didn't think it was when I first looked at it, but very... Uh, very good for holding my hair. A lot of them don't. Ow. A lot of them um, don't hold my hair because I have a lot of hair and I try to like pin it back there. Um, but this one actually held up pretty well when I tested it. I got this little bracelet. I think this was only four dollars, something like that. Just um, a little bit of glitz to wear um, or to add to an outfit that has purple in it. I got this necklace, which is kind of fabulous. Um, but also definitely not for every day because it is a little bit much. <laughs> Um, but it's a lock, key, and then it has some other little crystals. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of necklace. The problem that I had, I wore this a couple days ago, and this chain, I don't know why it was doing this, but it was catching on my, my tank top. So it actually kind of um, ruined my tank top because it pulled out the threads. But I think if I wear it with something more of like a... Um, I don't know, rayon or some kind of other fabric that's not cotton, then it probably won't do that. I just noticed my voice is kind of scratchy. I hope that's not bugging you guys. Need some water or something. Um, also picked up this necklace, which kind of reminded me of like, I don't know, for some reason I thought Hello Kitty. Maybe because of the little bows and the pearls and I don't know. But it's also got little rhinestone balls on it. Okay, I also got several cocktail rings because I think you guys may know that I'm a little bit obsessed with cocktail rings. This first one is actually a watch or a clock rather, um, but in ring form. This one's just a pretty simple bow but also with a lot of bling on it. This one actually doesn't have rhinestones. I was surprised that I actually picked out something that didn't have rhinestones on it, but it does have this little little bead hanging off the bottom of it. I just thought it was very romantic and, and soft, kind of whimsical. And probably my favorite ring that I got there is this one, my bunny ring. Um, it actually wasn't that expensive. It was only about $11 because all of the items are wholesale. But do you see how like far that sticks up off my finger? I, I come kind of obsessed with this ring, a little bit. I'm going to do a full review on these later, but I met with the owner of Lucy B Cosmetics, and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned her um, bronzing body oil in another video, and I tried to find that video. I think I may have deleted it, but i um, definitely going to do another review. She gave me a bunch of her fragrance samples to try out. She has a couple new fragrances out, and I seriously fell in love with every single one of them. 
and that doesn't happen very often there's always you know a couple fragrances from each line that you're you know not really a fan of but I liked every single one of them and to try out she gave me the pink frenzy panty the Australian wild jasmine what else is this and uh, Tropical Gardens. So I have all those to try out. Definitely gonna get a review up soon. I love her fragrances. Um, from the Times, some Agave Nectar Body Lotion. And this is kind of a weird thing. I didn't, the rep for this company wasn't there, so I kind of just picked up the packets and see, you know, like I try them out um, and see how they worked. It's called Sleeping Beauty. Um, sleep well, wake up refreshed, promotes natural sleep and a healthy sleep cycle formulated to help maintain healthy and beautiful skin. So it's a supplement. There's two tablets in here. Um, I'm guessing you just take them before bed and it's got a, a bunch of good stuff for your skin and probably to put you to sleep a little bit faster. So I'm gonna try those out and see how those work. Um, I'm sure it's like a little bit on the gimmicky side, like you're not gonna wake up looking like um, Carolina Kirkova or something because you took those pills, but maybe, you know, we all, I think, look and feel a little bit better when we're well rested, so. Anyways, um, moving on, I actually got these things from Target, let me see, I got the spin pins, and I've been using these almost every day, right now I have like the modern pinup thing in there, the other, the other little device that they had, um, and I've never really used this before, so I didn't know how to do it, but kind of just wanted my hair out of my face for this video. Um, spin pins are awesome. They make such a great bun. Um, not the nicest, um, neatest bun, but just like a casual, messy kind of bun. And they really do stay in for a long time. Um, I think they were $5.99. And I got this too. It's like their version of the Bump It, but I haven't really played around with it yet. I don't know. I haven't had any, you know, any place that I'm going to like want to play around with it. Okay, from Target, I also got this ring which has just like rows of those, they're not ball bearings, but they're, they look like beads, but they're really not. It's just like the rows up and down. And then a couple rows of crystals mixed in. And I also got this one. These were on sale for $6. So they probably still have them at your local Target if you like either one of these. And I'm definitely like having to take a break now from buying rings because you guys already probably saw my um, collection video for cocktail rings. So. I think I'm set now. I think I'm good with cocktail rings. Um, the reason I went to Marshalls to get glasses is because these were my absolute favorite glasses. I showed them in my Summer Essentials video. And I'm sure you guys can't see this now, but I left them in the car and they now look like they're shattered because the sun got to them. Oh, there we go. You can kind of see a little bit right, oh, right here. Um, and apparently you can't leave sunglasses with reflective surfaces in the heat who knew right I'm just really slow when it comes to that stuff so I went because um, I originally got those from Marshalls so I picked up some more these are the Jessica Simpson brand and they have little rhinestones uh, got right here and they're pretty cute I like them almost as much as the original ones but I ended up getting a couple oh well, I didn't know that said reaction that looks kind of funny um, picked up a couple other pairs now that I'm looking at these are a little off and I hate that it says reaction right there I thought that was a sticker to be taken off and I don't I don't like to wear like the brand name on my yeah these are totally going back take those out of the video forget I mentioned them um, and I also got these ones they're Oleg Cassini and they were on is it my head that's misshapen or the glasses anyways um purple aviators just fun for summer these are really really dark though another thing I got from the Mart I just found it is pink peppercorn chocolate really excited to try this it sounds funky as hell but um, this is supposed to be the sexy kind they make like a energetic and um, relaxing all different kinds but the pink peppercorn is supposed to be sexy chocolate sexual chocolate so if I have time in this video, I'm definitely going to throw in some pictures um, that I took when I was at the gift show, and I hope you guys all enjoy this video. I'll talk to you later. Bye.